This is News 3 at 5. And thanks for joining us tonight. Back in the news today, the Powerball jackpot. We can't get enough of it, right? Well, Wednesday night, no one picked all the right numbers. And because of that, the jackpot continues to rise until tomorrow night's drawing. So if Wednesday's $500 million Powerball jackpot wasn't enough to motivate you to buy a ticket, you are in luck. That jackpot rose in the last two days by another $300 million, now sitting at $800 million. And that, of course, is because of the very strong ticket sales yesterday, and it's possible it may grow even higher before the big drawing tomorrow night. Dave Delosier has his winning ticket and is here with more <laughs> He's got on it. The it's been drawing. nice working with you, Dave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll go ahead and finish this story. Okay, okay thank leave. you. You know, to, guys, to say that the Powerball ticket sales are strong right now would be a huge understatement. In fact, I just got off the phone with, with the folks at the ticket office, and they tell me here in Wisconsin they've sold 11 million tickets in the last week alone here in Wisconsin. Now, the pre... Uh, um, now, yesterday's sales were, uh, were double that of the, uh, the, of the uh, previous record uh, sales days. And for the vast majority of the people, Powerball is just dabbling with some fun. But for others, it's the thrill of winning, and that's a big problem. I'm just out buying Powerball tickets, hoping to hit the big one. And for John Lee, there is a method to this Powerball madness. We're just driving all over. I got the day off. We're just driving all over, buying a ticket here and there, and hopefully we'll hit an area where one hits. The $800 million jackpot is a big number, but so are the odds of winning at 1 in 292 million. Better chance of getting bit by a shark this afternoon, probably. But... Or struck by lightning. And for most, this is about gambling a few bucks, having some fun, and being part of the buzz. When it gets to be this big, you gotta at least say you tried. I think the, the vast majority of people, gambling is fun. It's not a problem. But Eddie Luker, a clinical therapist, knows for some, fun becomes an addiction. Oh, sure. It can bring on just the, the thrill, the, the, that chase that often uh, the problem gambler has is, you know, they, there is this obsession with the big win. <laughs> And there is no doubt $800 million is a very big win. The concern is, for a problem gambler, the hype over a record Powerball is a temptation. Luker says that temptation pushes the problem gambler to do what others won't. It's fun until, you know, there's, you're borrowing money. It's fun until you're lying about the money. It's fun, and, you know, until the problem is set in. Now, Eddie Luker says that another sign of problem gambling is when you set a limit for what you're willing to spend and then you exceed that limit. Now, there is a hotline set up to help anyone with a gambling problem, and that number is 1-800-GAMBLE-5, and it answers seven days a week, 24 hours a day. But again, guys, the, the, the thing about this is, is for most people, you know, it, it's just fun, but it is a problem for folks sure. who, who, who have this problem. Yeah, not, not to make light of the seriousness of the gambling addiction, yeah. we all waste a lot of time daydreaming, too, wasting mm -hmm. productive work time about how we're going to spend. <laughs> Are 300 plus million after yeah. taxes, Dave. Yeah, it's up almost by 500 million in cash if you want it right oh now. My oh, gosh. Right. all right, yeah, Dave. Thank you very much and good luck. <laughs>